It's six o'clock on a Thursday morning in Northland, and this pest detection dog with a difference is ready for action. Come here, Wink. This is uh, Wink. Uh, we're going to be working in a, an area today where there's possibly endangered species, so we've got to protect them. So Wink has to wear his muzzle and also his vest so that he's visible to myself when he's working. All conservation dogs and their handlers go through an extensive training and assessment process to become certified by the Department of Conservation. Wink is a border collie, started off life a bit rough, 11 kgs when I got him, had a crook eye and unfortunately he had to lose the eye. Um, he's gone on and uh, become fully certified with Doc and it makes no difference to his working ability. Wink is very trainable, very intelligent dog. We found at home that uh, we put him outside, half a minute later he's back inside, he taught himself how to open the door. So to put him outside at night, keep him out, we've got to key lock the door to prevent him coming back in. Wink is the only conservation dog in Aotearoa fully certified to detect the invasive weed, Spartina grass. What we're doing now is just searching along this edge. This is a really good, common place to find it. Spartina, known as cord grass, is native to Europe and was introduced to New Zealand to stabilise estuaries, but it's actually been bad for them, increasing sediment and destroying habitats of the wildlife. From mud snails, crabs and flatfish to wading bird species such as dotterels and spoonbills. Out here today in the beautiful Kaipara with our biosecurity team from Northern Regional Council to see what John and Wink can do in the hunt for Spartina. Uh, we've been battling Spartina in our estuaries for quite some time. It's a real threat to these beautiful places. It's a real challenge. It's a challenging environment to work in and trying to spot it in different places is hard work as is just getting around. And if John and Wink can help us to spot those places we don't know about it, then that's going to be hugely helpful to us. When Wink finds a plant, uh, I can see the change in behaviour. He'll usually catch it in the wind and he'll work his way into the plant. And the, the actual training that I've done, he is to lie down and bark beside the plant. Fine. What is it? Here. What is it? A reward of what I do now is just give him a pat and sometimes just a small treat and then we just move on to the next plant. Get away, get away, get away. Well, this is my GPS. I carry this with me all the time. So it gives the council a track of where I've actually walked the ground I've covered. I can also put marks in here of any plants that I've found. And the really important part is two aerials on it. And this aerial here is connected to Wink's collar. So I'm getting feedback from Wink as well. I'm also getting his track and I know exactly where he is. If he stays still for 20 seconds, this beeps and gives me an indication of where he is so that I can find him in really thick grass and scrub. What is it? Here. Right there. This is what we've been looking for. It's the Spartina, the wide leaf variety. And there's another patch just here and another piece over here. And this is what Wink's been doing in under here looking. He's just set himself right beside a plant. He's just waiting there for me to give him a reward. And he's, he's sitting right on top of two really significant plants. I'm just going to put a bit of marking tape on it and Joe can come back with her phone app and actually log GPS exactly where it is. Good boy, good boy, good boy. Here you go. Wink's done really well today. This is what I trained him for. He's uh, right in underneath and he gets into areas that we can't get at and it's absolutely brilliant. Those individual plants, if they're not found, they just continue the spread of the of Spartina grass. Really cool being here today and seeing what um, John and Wink can do. We've seen that he can really hone in and find that grass in some quite tricky spots. Now we've really got to think about how we could use his skills in the different settings and situations we've got uh, to help us protect our beautiful Northland environment. If we don't uh, get on top of Spartina grass, if we leave it, it has got the ability to destroy all our bird habitats, fish breeding grounds. So to me, I, I really enjoy it and I just feel like Wink and I are doing something really worthwhile. I get to spend every day with them, so it's probably, to me, the ultimate job. Oh boy. Oh boy.